What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and hopefully in this episode we're going to get the uh, transmission mounted up to the 5.9. Um, we are poking around on Kijiji looking for some rims for my uh, 2013 Dodge and we found these in Olds, Alberta. So we hopped in the Dodge, grabbed my best bro and we hit the road. And then along the way back we stopped in Alsask, Saskatchewan slash Alberta, it's right on the border. And we found a gentleman who had tons and tons of Cummins parts. So we were able to pick up the adapter plate, the starter and the starter spacer. And so we got that mounted up to the 5.9. As well, we were able to pick up a Hydro Boost. That's from a 2003 Dodge and up. Hopefully we can make that thing work. And so, yeah, let's get that tranny mounted up to the 5.9 Cummins and get it hung in the air. Okay guys, so we were able to get those torqued down. I had to put a bolt in the bell housing here and one in the in the flywheel and then we were able to torque it down to the required spec so now i'm uh, just gonna hook up a battery to the starter and see if i can engage that guy to see that it doesn't get stuck so we're gonna get some booster cables and we're gonna uh, power that guy up okay guys we got the booster cables hooked up to the starter i got the positive on the positive negative on a bolt and then i got a jumper wire for to act like the solenoid and i'm just gonna stand I don't know, six feet back and I'm going to engage the starter and see if uh, it'll spin this and go back. Oh man! No, what? Not the day! Okay, so it seems to engage, but for some reason, my starter isn't disengaging. No, what? So we got to figure that one out. Oh man! Okay, so after a little bit of fiddling around, my battery's not quite strong enough, but this is engaging and disengaging quite nice now. So I think it was just maybe it hasn't been used for a while. So uh, we're going to continue. We're going to throw the, the clutch on there and pressure plate, and we're going to get the transmission bolted on. Okay, guys, so uh, with using these used clutches and pressure plate and stuff, um, I don't have a clutch alignment tool. So. The next best thing I can do is I took my caliper and I measured the uh, input shaft on the transmission, which is uh, just over three quarter. And then I measured the closest socket I could find here. Here in my back pocket. This one's slightly under three quarter inch, so this actually goes inside here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an extension and put it here and wrap black tape around there till it's nice and snug. And so it'll center the clutch while we get the pressure plate on. Okay, so there we got our makeshift clutch alignment tool, but I'm actually gonna take this off and I'm gonna put Loctite on all of those bolts that are on the flywheel. Okay, so I think my battery died on that last little piece there, but uh, anyways. We use my fancy clutch alignment tool, which uh, worked not bad. We'll see when we get the transmission bolted up there. And we uh, tighten down the pressure. 
pressure plate bolts. And so now we're just gonna torque them to make sure they're in spec. Okay guys, so here we go. We got the NV5600 hooked up to the 12 valve from the 93. So we got the 12 valve from the 93. We got the adapter plate from the second gen, second gen starter with the spacer hooked up to the 05 NV5600 and transfer case. After a long lengthy process, it's married together. And uh, I'm gonna put it in six gear here. And I'm gonna turn the crank and you can see that the front drive shaft is moving because I have the transfer case engaged. So here we got the ratchet with a, I think it's a 15 mil. We're gonna crank on that. So there we have it guys, we got the NV5600 mounted up to the 12 valve and she's hanging in the air. Thanks to our old girl Betsy. So that's gonna be everything for this episode guys. So if you will do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button. I'll wait. Because by hitting the subscribe button, you guys are doing me a huge favor to grow my channel so I'll get more exposure. So if you want to do me a favor, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Oh man. No, what? Not the day. And until next time, peace.